What's up, Chinese basketball CBA betters? This is Caesar with Japanese Baseball TV, and I have my projections for you for Sunday, October 25th. Uh, these games will be starting uh, in the evening in Japan, which is going to be Sunday morning uh, Arizona time in the U.S. Uh, yesterday we did all right, uh, so let's keep it going. Um, I didn't actually have any bets yesterday, but my projections were pretty pretty accurate yesterday. Um, but no bets. Today, I'm kind of on the borderline on two games, whether I should bet them or not. Uh, there's a bigger slate today. Yesterday, there were only two games. Uh, today, I think there are four. And I'm kind of on the, on the fence on two of them. So uh, I'll share my projections with you, and I'll let you decide what to do with them. Um, so today... Uh, Shangdong and Guangzhou. I have Shangdong as a minus 11 uh, and a, two, a point total of 203.5. Uh, pretty much same as the bookie. Um, Tianjin and Jilin. This game, I'm on the fence. Um, I have Jilin as a minus 11 favorite. Uh, I have the point total at 221 uh, and the bookie has it at 205. So normally I'd like to see a bigger discrepancy between my numbers and the bookie numbers if I'm going to bet it. Uh, but my numbers say to bet over 205 in this game. 205 is a really high total, though. Um, and the games have tended to go to the unders uh, as the teams are kind of starting out, uh, uh, and they're pretty cold shooting in, in the beginning of the season. So I'm a little tentative to take this. I might just half my bet and bet over 205 uh, for this game. So that's my recommendation. Uh, Zhejiang Guangzhou and Shenzhen, I have Zhejiang Guangzhou as minus 6.5. I have the point total of 204, which is pretty similar to what the bookie has. Guangdong, the defending champions, are at home taking on Fujian. Um, Guangdong, I have them as a 17.5 point favorite. The bookie has them at 19, so there's no discrepancy there. Um, kind of a, a, a fun bet to to place for really bad odds, but um, my book has uh, a bet that you can take a three-way victory. Uh, you can take any team to win by six or more, uh, but the odds are usually really terrible. It's like minus 400, minus 300. Um, but I might, I might, I might bet that for Guangdong because I'm pretty sure they're going to win by six. I don't recommend you to do that though. Sometimes I do it just to play. Um, and so there's no bet on that game. And then the Jansu Dragons playing Liaoning. Um, Liaoning is the second best team. They score a lot. Um, but my projection has them at minus 7.5, uh, whereas the bookie has them at minus 25.5, and, uh, and the total at 210.5. Um, I'm not going to bet this, but if you're going to bet this game, I would take the Jansu Dragons plus 25.5. Uh, it's a huge number, and Jansu scores quite a bit. So um, I might put like a quarter of my bet on this, but Lao Ning, Lao Ning scores so much. But the teams are, like I said, they score less right now. 25 and a half is a lot because Jansu is not that bad, and they're at home. So I might take Jansu plus 25 and a half for just a quarter or half of my bet. Uh, but I don't have 100% confidence on either of these games. But I am going to put a tiny amount. But these are not official plays. These are not going to count uh, towards the record that I'm posting. Uh, but just for just to have some action, I might just put a small amount on these two. Um, Tianjin Jilin to go over 205. And Jansu Liaoning, uh, Jansu plus 25 and a half. Um, so those, those are my play bets today. Uh, they're not going to count for my record, but... Uh, I will make them just to have some action. So those are my projections for Sunday, October 25th. Uh, have a good weekend. Happy betting and good luck. Please like and subscribe below. Uh, support me and I can keep bringing you good content uh, on this channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good weekend.